Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to do an Elm review from a band that I don't really talk about a whole lot on this channel. This is Discharges, Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing. Uh, the reason I don't really talk about them a lot on this channel is that this is the only album I have from them. And I would like to do some guitar covers, but I've never gotten around to doing it. Um, I am doing another guitar cover later on today. Um, I'm probably going to do one from um, Black Flag's Damage. I'm probably going to be doing either Rise Above or Police Story or um, Damage 1. Um, and, and, yeah, so I'll get to that tonight, but let's get to this album. So, uh, packaging, of course. So there's a really iconic album cover where you have the uh, eyeball and the ear and then, um, the, I can't see because of the lighting, uh, lips and then the brain. Like, uh, hear, uh, hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing, uh, and I guess the brain represents whatever, but anyways, on the back, you get some pretty cool pictures of the band. Um, so yeah, there's all the members, and they look very street punk. Um, so then, there's the track listing, and then this is a gatefold, so when you open it up, you got these pictures right here, these people sun tanning, and then under it, it's like a heat vision, I guess, in black and white, I can't really tell. Then you have all the lyrics right here, the lyrics on this album are really, really simplistic. Like, I'll just read, read you lyrics to the first song on here. Lied to, threatened, and cheating, and cheated, and deceived, hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing. Let up garden paths and tomb blind always. That's the entire lyrics to the same song, but he repeated some over and over. So I kind of like that minimalistic thing that they did on here. Um, the, the, the lyrics also can get pretty um, politically violent, which I really like. Like, especially on side two. Um, ooh, like, on uh, Hell on Earth. A glaring light and suffocating... A, a glaring light and suffocating heat... Um, suffocating... Uh, that sounds weird. <laughs> a hell on earth, a hell on earth. Men and women and children groaning in agony from the intolerable pain of their burns. So it's like stuff like that. It's like it's really crazy. It's cool. Or napalm tumbles from the sky. Cries of help. Cries of pain. Skin looking like bloody heart and meat. So yeah, stuff like that. So it, it's not two records. It's just one. So uh, plain white death sheet. My least favorite kind of death sheet. And probably everybody's least favorite kind of death sheet. Um, it's just on black. I do believe this is an import actually. Um, cause one of the things I got for my birthday, um, um, when I, like, if, which was a few months ago when I turned 14, it says it's on Havoc Records, it's not the Clay Records one, so I looked it up, and that's, um, it's a, like, a UK label, so, like, um, so, yeah, so, that's kind of cool, this is an import, I kind of like imports for vinyl, not so much for CD, cause the layout's really shit, but on vinyl it's kind of cool. So you have the Never Again EP album cover right here. Can't see it really well because of the lighting. And so yeah. And then on the other side, you just have the band logo and then the record label and the track listing. So yep, uh, there's the packaging. So it's pretty um, simple, but it's also pretty cool. <clears throat> and then the music, of course, is much more important. Like I say in every other video. <clears throat> okay, so um, this is a very short album. It's only like half an hour long. Um, but hey, it's a punk album. Pretty hard to categorize musically, in my opinion. Uh, I wouldn't call it street punk because it's a lot more serious and there's a lot more substance to it than street punk. See, the thing I don't like about street punk is that, like, see, I like bands like GBH and The Exploited a lot, but I don't like them as much as UK, um, U uh, yeah, yeah, UK, US hardcore because US hardcore has a lot more substance to it. Lyrics are a lot more meaningful. Well, sorry about that, my cat just walked in here. Well, um, with uh, American hardcore, like the lyrics. Anyways, American hardcore, the lyrics are much more meaningful. With British hardcore, the lyrics are really, really just like uh, filler. You know, like if you listen to GBH lyrics, um, I'm a sick boy and there's no car, or, or, or the exploited, uh, fuck the USA, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, um, hold on, let me close the door. Sorry about that. Ugh, I should do another take, but I don't know. Really Alright, um, so yeah, really simple lyrics like that, but yeah, this charge their lyrical content is very real and very realistic, which is one of the reasons they're my favorite UK hardcore band. Um, I would say this is like a mix of hardcore punk, uh, a little bit of street punk, but I don't really want to call it that. I guess I categorize this as D-beat, because that's basically what it says on Wikipedia, and I can see why, because obviously they invented the D-beat drum style. Um, because I'd call this D-beat. Um, or maybe, uh, no, I wouldn't really call it grindcore, but if you listen to grindcore rounds like Napalm Death, they're basically just playing this really, really fast. Um, but this is pretty heavy for its time. 
Um, especially for a uh, punk album. Yeah, I wouldn't call it straight up punk, obviously, because it's much more aggressive. So yeah, I just I just call it D beat slash uh, hardcore punk, I guess. And maybe a little bit of street punk. But anyways, see, so uh, yeah, street punk is they just like have like a really simple but kind of cool sounding riff, but it's not executed very well. Like I think the exploited do that a lot. But like they have a cool sounding riff, but they don't execute it very well. Well, discharge they get a cool sounding riff and they execute it really, really well. So yeah, the title track is really good. One of the best songs on here. So yeah, it's really, really cool. Um, it's, it's also kind of catchy. Um, Nightmare Continues is a similar song. Uh, it's really good. The final blood bath. The final blood bath. Sorry, I'm so bad at talking like naming. Song titles have alliteration in them. The final bloodbath is a pretty good song. Um, it's not my favorite, but I do really like the bass intro. Like, there's like a really loud chugging bass that's re it's like almost like tremolo picking. It's really loud, and it sounds really heavy and really dark and intense. Protested Survive is my favorite discharge song because it has this thing like it opens up with a like guitar riff and then the drums play for a second and then it goes back to just the guitar riff, and it sounds really heavy and it's really cool. It's something that a lot of metal bands, especially bands like Slayer, do. So yeah, that's a really good song. Uh, I want to subscribe. It was okay. Uh, Drunk with Power. That's a really good one. Another one of the best songs on the album. Which is really good. Meanwhile, that's a really good song. It has some interesting lyrics. Let me read them. Uh, meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, half the world is starving, dying of disease. World mi world military expenditure increases. Half the world is living in poverty. So yeah, it's kind of interesting. So yeah, um, it's a good song. Side two is much darker, and it's a lot more uh, lyrically heavy. Like, I've already read the lyrics to Hell on Earth and Cries of Help. So those are really good songs. And then, um... Oh, and then there's, like, a interlude at the beginning of the possibility of life's destruction where you hear, like... So I think that's, like, a, a radio spokes or something talking about a nuclear bomb or something. And then you hear, like, the explosion and then you hear, like, children crying and it's really, really crazy. Like, I don't know. I, I think it's either before the possibility of life's destruction or on Cries of, before Cries of Help. I'm not sure, but it's very, very, it's really cool, and it's really dark and eerie sounding. Um, they go right, break right into this really fast and frenzied riff for, I think it's possible the life's destruction, and it sounds really cool. And, yeah, that's re that's also a really catchy song. Oh, and Children and Children is also really good. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, The Blood Runs Red. Um, I don't know, that one's okay. It's not my favorite one. Uh, ah, Free Speech for the Dumb. That one's really good. It's super simple. Literally, the weird the song title says it all. Those are the only weird the song. It's just him repeating free speech, free speech, four of them, free speech, free speech, four of them. And um, I think Metallica covered that. That's actually the first discharge song I ever heard was Metallica covering free speech for the dumb. And I think they did add in, like an f bomb somewhere in there to, for more uh, variation. It's kind of funny. The last song, the end, isn't really very memorable, to be honest. I don't know. It's okay, but really. Um, Overall, there's some really fantastic guitar riffs on this album, and they're really memorable. And this is really one of those albums where the more you listen to it, the cooler it sounds, because it's like, you just get like, you listen to a riff for the first time, and you're like, alright, that's a cool sounding riff. But then the second time, you're like, oh wow, I'm getting nostalgia from the first time I listened to this album. And that builds upon it to the point where the riff just sounds really badass and menacing. And this album is really heavy for its time, because the drumming, it's not played super fast, but it's really heavy, and I really like the lyric. Um, the lyric content, I really like, um, Cal Morris's vocals, they're really, really, like, aggressive and heavy, and he, he, he almost sounds, I wouldn't call it guttural vocals, but he has a really deep voice, and he kind of sounds like, uh, he doesn't sound like, he, he sounds like, rather than sounding like Cookie Monster, he sounds like that one of the Muppets, I forgot its name, but the one that's all crazy, um, I, that's supposed to be like a caveman, yeah, that's what he sounds like, yeah, the singer from Discharge, Cal Morris, he sounds like, um, uh, Sounds like a cape man. So, yeah, I really like that. I didn't... Originally, when I first got into hardcore punk, I didn't like that vocal style. Like, listening to bands like... Like, if I check out bands like Discharge or um, or bands like Fucked Up, I didn't like that vocal style. But more recently, after I've gotten into this, I've been, I, I, get, I finally get that. Uh, I guess the same thing kind of goes for metal, too. When I first got into metal, I didn't like guttural vocals or anything. But now that's, that kind of thing's starting to grow on me. Especially after I got into Lamb of God, and I, like... Just not not that one God had not have like guttural vocals, but they have like a just a more you know like a extreme metal vocal style. So uh, getting back to this album, overall, if you're into hardcore punk, especially American hardcore punk, I'm sure you'll appreciate you'll enjoy this. 
And if you're into British hardcore like GBH or the Exploit, you will definitely love this. So this is kind of hard to find on vinyl. Um, but, you know, like, I don't know, this is an import. Uh, I looked for it on vinyl forever and I couldn't find it. But anyways, so overall, um, to me, this album is a perfect 10 out of 10, to be honest. Um, it really is really great. One of my favorite hardcore albums, or just punk albums, I'm just going to say. So, yep, that's it for today's video. Um, but though I will be doing a um, guitar cover video for a Black Flag song from Damage. So that was it. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.